going on guys? Hope you're well. Um, welcome back to another video uh, about modern women. Um, I am really am enjoying this side of things, man. I really am getting invested into it, into this kind of modern day debate system between women and men. Um, I really, I don't know, man. Like, uh, there are so many different sides to modern, you know, the whole kind of system, man. There are so many things that I've listened to, I've seen. Um, and I do tend to agree that it, in today's modern world, women have a different mindset. They have a different mentality. Um, do I, I and, and you know what? I don't go against all of it. You know, I really don't. I, I, I really believe and support that they can go off and do in the, you know, have more independence and do their own thing. And that's fine. And I don't, do you know what? They, they, they're more than free to do that, these women. They can start their own businesses, they can make loads of money. I'm happy for them. Yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Going to be reacting to something that Kevin Samuel said before he passed. So, oh, Kevin um, Samuels. When Kevin Sam, and this is rest in peace, Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels, um, mom. Yeah, yeah. So, um, great man, great man. But this is something that he said before he passed away that when he passed had a lot of people in uproar. So um, we are going to react to the clip. If you could pull it up ish and give our thoughts. Okay. But if you have made it to 35 years old and you're unmarried, mm -hmm. you are a leftover woman. A leftover woman. You are what is left. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you. Whether you want to hear it or not, I'm going to just go there with you. I'm telling you the truth that you don't want to hear. Men know that there's something likely wrong with you, but you cannot be fit in a, a, an adjustable six or higher, 35, unmarried. Something wrong with you. That's where men automatically coming at it. And here's the thing. Just like when you were between the ages of 18 and uh, 25 and you didn't want to settle, you were trying to get them. You were trying to get the CEO, the pilot, the investment banker. You were trying to get flued out. Here's what's going to happen. If you are a woman, 35 plus, and you want a man that's uh, on the same lifestyle level, you're going to have to share it. So um, I want to start wow. and give your initial thoughts to this video, starting with you and then go around. <clears throat> Starting with me, 35, you're left over, you're done out here, I, pff, I disagree wholeheartedly with what you're saying. Oh, you disagree? No, I agree. Oh, you agree? I you agree. just agree. So you think yeah. it's over at it's 35? Over, 35, you know, there's all these people calling themselves tens. I'm just Let me tell you something, you, so you see the movies, yeah, when you see when you see, don't get me wrong, I, I personally think, yeah, like, this is a majority. I'm not talking about the 1% there. And like I said, there could be a chance that over 35, you find a man, a high value man, a good, uh, an average value man that is more than willing to take you on board and marry you. Like, it may happen. But again, it's a very, very small possibility. Again, I'm trying to clarify here, this is the majority. This is what some of these women, I saw that woman again, she's like shaking her head. It's like, this is the majority. This is what you're not understanding. We're not saying every single woman over 35 is done out here. We're saying the majority. Because again, us men will look at that and be like, okay, you're 35 plus year old woman. You haven't got, I don't know, you're single. You haven't got any children. Or maybe you do have children with other men. Again, men don't like sharing other kids with... You see all these guys that do that. They're, stu they're stupid. I would never want that. I would never want to be looking after someone else's kids because it doesn't feel like they're my own. I want my own legacy. So again, that's a, another con uh, contributing factor. Again, if you're single, now that's even worse because it's like, so from the ages of 18 to 35, what have you been doing? Because if you've been sleeping around with loads of men and then you're tr now trying to look for... Again, that's a, a massive red flag. It's like, well, how do I know that you're not going to cheat or do any, anything like that again? I can't, put every, I can't put my time and commitment down to you. 
Like, that's why it's hard. This is what you need to understand with these modern, modern, modern women. Understand this. It's hard for a man to accept that you've been through all those different guys and you, you, you haven't had an outcome. Like, you, you haven't been married. You haven't had any children. Like, I understand if there's been a toxic marriage or something and you've had kids and I, maybe I can accept that. But again, it's very, very hard to accept that. That's what, what these modern women that say, we're not done out here over 35 and get offended by that Kevin Samuels clip, you're deluded. Men are telling you what we want. Why can't you listen? Why can't you listen and accept that? No, you don't want to accept it, okay. Just curious, how old are you? 40. 40, so how, what's, how old would you date younger? How old would I date? Yeah, yeah. Thirty. Thirty. Okay. Yeah. Is that is that how old your girlfriend is? No. <clears throat> oh, okay. My my missus is my age. Oh, okay. We're big people out here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Okay. What about you? Um, I personally disagree. Um, I'm 21, so I go. don't have that much experience in like the relationship. There we go. So she's 21. You don't have experience, but you disagree. Makes so much sense. Um, dating game and everything like that. But I feel like in my generation and like moving forward, um, I don't think that's possible because it's like we have people that Why? are like public figures. Mm -hmm. For uh, example, like... This is what these, these modern women do. They compare public figures. They, I, and I've, I've, this, is, this has come up in my videos before. People comparing it relationships to Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, uh, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B. Bro, again, that is the 1%. And you look at, you try and compare the sexual marketplace and your relationships to public figures. Why are you doing that? It's not real. Everything you see on social media is fake. And again, they are 1% people. That works for them in their industry and in their world, public figures, meaning everything that they sell you on social media is n never, it's not always true anyway. But it, I can't believe this. I can't believe it. Just to tease a girl like Kim Kardashian, she's like four years old. Mm -hmm. And she's still dating. She was in a relationship for like she was married for like how long? And it's like outside of oh that, my. you know, her breaking up. With oh her my god! Husband I can't believe that. She's still like kind of moving on. Oh <laughs> still my! Dating. I don't think thirty five. I think thirty five is too young for you to say that you're left over. I, I feel like that's still a bit. What did funny. I just say? That's my opinion. Okay. What do you think? Um, I don't <clears> think <throat> I agree with the term leftover in general. And I also don't think you should put an A. Okay, okay. You don't agree with the term leftover. What do you want him to say? Left behind? On your own? Alone? Or, uh. On what you would term as leftover. Um, I think it's... I, don't, I think age is irrelevant. I think it's completely based on who you are, character, all the different other attributes aside from age. Like, just to say, because someone's a certain age, mm -hmm, they're mm -hmm. leftover <laughs> women... I think that's, I completely disagree. Completely disagree. That's my stance. We have 30 seconds to save your cat's life. No room for filler, junk, things that shouldn't We're be there. Here, man. Like dry and wet cat food. That's real junk. I agree. You agree? Why? Yeah, as a woman, I agree. Why? Because most women <coughs> over 35 who are single have. Most women. Most women. How many times? Most women. Not the one percenters. Most women issues okay i was 35 Salute. at one point and i had issues like you know they've got issues i mean you're 35 either if you're a virgin i can understand why well, then you're not left over but if you're 35 and you've lived life and you've been through life why should a man want you i mean everybody's looking at all these artists and all these stars that's not reality that's mm -hmm. just one off but at 35 I had issues at 35, so I can understand that. Mm -hmm. If you're not married at 35 or in a stable relationship, has to be something wrong with you. Otherwise, why aren't you in a relationship if you're that great? Go ahead. What do you guys think? Um, but in the in the video that we saw, he didn't say relationship per se. He said if you're not married. So would you say it's different if you're in a relationship? That If you're good enough to be in a long-term relationship, you're good enough to get married. And if you're not, why ain't you? 
Not everybody aspires to marriage, though. That's very true. That's the problem. I don't necessarily think it's a problem. I just think it that is. it's it is a, a different. Problem. I think over the different generations, there's different views. For instance, a lot of the women and girls I speak to my age mm. say they put off marriage and having children till they're in their thirties. So I think times have changed in terms of, for instance, myself. I would consider marriage in my thirties, mm. like, and if I got to thirty five and I wasn't married, I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily see it as a problem, <coughs> and that there's something wrong with me. Um, yeah, I see. Th- I think just assuming that there's something wrong with someone that's not married at thirty five mm. is just, I think, it's oversimplifying everything. And I completely yeah, but he's talking about the vast majority. He's not talking about an individual. He's talking about a vast majority of women that get to thirty-five. You're single, uh, and he and again he did. He actually said if you're single and unmarried, so that actually is two different things. I understand what they're trying to say. They're trying to say he actually didn't say relationship. He said marriage. Okay, but then it's like if you're not good enough. If you're not good enough for uh, uh, marriage, or then why you, why would you be good enough for a relationship? What is what is the overall point of being in a relationship? Is it to get married? Is it to be with someone long term? Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not saying that people in this day and age have to get married. I'm not saying that. And at the end of the day, marriage really. It's just a piece of paper that you sign. It really is. I mean, what again, modern mi- women and men, men that love marriage, I don't know. There must be men out there that love marriage too, right? But we see marriage as, we actually look at the wedding. We don't look at marriage. We look at the wedding, the ceremony, the the, the dress, the suits, the where it is, the venue. You don't, you, no one really focuses on the marriage aspect, the partnership, the longevity aspect, we don't focus on that. We focus on the wedding day itself. And then when you do get married and then you have the ceremony, you have all the good things, all the honeymoon and all that stuff, that's when shit becomes real. And then that's when most women get divorces because they can't handle marriage. They can't handle the long term. They can't handle it. And that's and then again, that's why the divorce rate is so high. Majority of men get divorces. I know for a fact in the USA, I don't know about the UK, but overall I know women get more divorces than men. So again, marriage is corrupt. Marriage is up, is done for as well, because you know, you can literally have all, the, all that massive ceremony, sign a piece of paper, and then boom, that, it's like that piece of paper don't mean nothing if, you, if, you're, if it's that easy to get a divorce, you know? But again, people do, sometimes people don't aspire to get married married sorry and that's fine but if you can find a man that is on the same mindset as you and says you know what i don't believe in marriage either that's fine that's that's fine no one's saying that's a bad thing but we're talking about majority here and this is what these women are understanding we're talking about vast majority but what they what do they do they deflect they deflect because they feel they feel like it's a personal thing and then they start comparing it comparing it to celebrities and icons and all these people all these kind of people that you disagree again wouldn't you say though it's it's <coughs> if we wouldn't you want to be married to, if there was a guy that checked all your boxes would yeah. you not would you not want to marry him i mean if it, i feel like if it made sense then yeah i don't feel like people should well firstly i don't think people should rush into marriage mm-hmm. first no. like i feel like that's fu- no, we get that. that kind of take time when it comes to that kind of stuff but yeah, yeah like if i've found someone that literally took all my boxes and all of that stuff 100% not. So then by that logic, wouldn't you say that the, <laughs> the women that aren't picked by 35, like the best guys picked the younger women and left the, everyone else over? <laughs> like in a way. Because if you survey men between the ages of 20 and 80 and you ask like what age did they find the most attractive, all of them find the ages between like 21 to 24 is like a girl's peak. And um, 90% of your eggs are gone by 30 and 50% of your options are gone by 30. I personally see, this is what I'm saying. And again, it's majority because let me tell you my beliefs. I, I, I believe you can be attractive when you're 40. I believe you can be attractive when you're 30, in your 30s as a woman. That's how I, listen, 100%. I, I personally think you can be attractive. But that, that again, they're talking about the vast majority of men. Not all men believe and feel how I would feel towards women some men won't 
date over 30. Some men won't date over 25. Some men won't, you know, some men will date over 30. Some men will date around 40s. Men, also, there are men that are different out here as well, you know, but we're talking, when we're talking about the vast majority, that is just what it is. Pretty. I wouldn't say you should say there's a peak time. I, I feel like when you're saying there's a peak time, you're basing it on looks primarily. <laughs> Um, I think there's so much more like you don't marry someone just based on looks. No. And between the ages of 21 to 24. But a man marry a man will marry a woman based on looks. This is what we're trying to tell you. This is what we're trying to tell you. A woman won't always marry a man just based on looks. A man may have to have certain things like money, finances, everything backed up, his life backed up, where he's going, his career, all these things. That's probably why you may marry, you probably will marry a guy because you feel secure, you've got the security there. He's more than willing and more than capable enough to support the kids, your future. I get, that's, that's what I'm saying. What, I get it, I get it. I get what women would want. Why can't you, as a woman, understand what men want? Men look for attractiveness in a woman. They're not looking at your job, your career, your degree, what, what kind of person you are, okay? To a certain extent, but we're not looking for any of that shit. Most men aren't looking for that. We're looking for attractiveness in a woman. That's the difference. That could be your peak, but you're finding yourself. Mm -hmm. So how can you say that, okay, a man should pick a woman at that age, but she doesn't even know who she is yet? I feel like... When because we don't care who you are. We don't care what your ambitions are we okay we care to an extent like of course we want you to be happy in a job and all these things right but to a certain extent we don't care we care about your looks your attractiveness this is what we're trying to say majority of men that's what we're looking for in the sexual marketplace that is what our men are looking for and she's not getting it when you, once you put an age on these things that's where like Divorce tends to come in. Divorce no, rates no, are so high. No, no, no. I think because you're putting and you're putting time pressure on it. I don't think there needs to be a time pressure. And sorry, going back to your point about if a guy ticked no. my boxes now, again, I wouldn't say that I'm ready. Um, because I feel like I'm still finding myself at the age of twenty one. Um, you haven't experienced <sighs> life, you haven't done a lot of things. And again, this is why I don't think age should be the fact what we measure it by because someone could be 35 <sighs> and they haven't experienced life as much as someone who's 25 and that's a 10 10 year age gap and they could have had completely different life experiences so yeah i think my problem is putting a time on it so in terms of age i think that's where the problem is so do you not think it starts with looks yeah i think it starts but it will stop at a certain point like it will not be long lasting if it's just based primarily on looks that video was very frustrating to watch man you know when you, you, people are trying to tell you they're trying to give you the information the knowledge and you're just not listening you're just not listening you're just sticking with your your stubborn self and you might not even realize you're being stubborn but you are you're being stubborn and you're not listening to what people have to say. It's frustrating. I, I, honestly, I think I could go on a podcast like that, but I don't know if I could hold back my, what I would have to say, man, because it may go off. But it's, it's just, she's not understanding what men want. She's only seen it from her point of view and and what maybe some of her friends have, have, have told her. Where, wherever she's getting this knowledge from, I don't know. I don't know where she's getting this knowledge from. She must be getting it from other modern women like herself. <coughs> because she's saying all these things, age, shouldn't put age on it, age doesn't matter, attractiveness doesn't matter, da -da -da, this doesn't matter, this da -da. We Listen, we understand what you're saying. From a woman's point of view, attractiveness isn't always the answer i get that yeah what you're not going to marry an attractive guy who's got no kind of security no money no kind of finances that can you know support your longevity uh in a relationship kids children house blah 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 etc right we get that that when it comes to men attractiveness isn't always the be and or end or i get that but when it comes from a man's perspective 
point of view, we don't care about how much money you've got, what you have a degree in, what you what your ambitions are yet yeah, to a certain extent we want you to be happy in your your career whatever it is you choose to do right or even if you want to and again women that have the uh capability to not even work and be you know stay at home some women don't want to work some people want to be stay at home mums and not have to work you know but she's not understanding what men want and that's why it's so frustrating to listen to her talk because she's just going back and forth back and forth she's not she's not understood the assignment she's not understanding it and it's i don't know whether how she where she's gonna when when she's gonna see what men want she's gonna be stuck man i'm telling you because when she does i don't know if she's got a boyfriend or not but i don't know what i don't know how that's working i really don't but when a man wants to marry a woman it's not that always down it's not really down to what she has and what she owns it's down to her attractiveness and that is just for the majority of men and that's what it is that's why kevin samuels said women at our age over 35 are leftovers again some people take that personally i really wouldn't it's just a word but he said 35 plus women are leftovers he's saying that because most men are not looking over the ages of 35 plus for a woman to settle down with and have children with they are not doing it they are looking for the younger more attractive women that don't have all of these body counts don't have all of these experiences with different men and that are pretty much a breath of fresh air that is what most men are looking for they want someone that they can start a brand new life with from fresh not an already used woman that's been through countless marriages has two or three kids they don't want that they don't want to be rifled up into all of that nonsense and then they gotta go and visit those kids and maybe those kids will come over the house and all these things men don't want that we want men most men want a woman they can start a family with from fresh a, f a fresh life to build and go on and do do whatever they choose to do that's what men want and she's not understanding it that's why age comes into it not attractiveness now i'm not again <clears throat> you can be attractive as a 35 year old woman you can be attractive as a 40 year old woman but most men again they just don't find 35 plus women attractive they go for a younger looking women that's just what it is and women like this mod, mod, these kind of modern women the the, the 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 longer they they choose not to accept this fact the longer they're going to be without a man and, the, and, and it's going to be hard and she'll get to the age of 35 and look back and say do you know what i should have listened to these people around me that's why they say maybe your best bet is to find a man under the age of 25 28 settle down with him that's the one not oh i haven't found the one yet oh, i haven't found my career yet i haven't found this no because when you do get to that age you're going to be stuck you're going to your options are shortened your your op your your options and your opportunities for all these kind of different men that you're looking for they 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 they, they slim up and this this is what they're not they're not understanding it's like you get to that age it's like do you really want to be alone at that age you really want to be alone around 35 40 years old you want to be alone with no children no marriage you're in you're in your single one bedroom apartment with your two cats you really want that kind of life i don't think so i don't think so guys here's your boy jordan and i will see you in the next video